How's it going YouTube? I want to show you my shirt real quick. How great is this? Today I wanted to do a story on more of my personal journey and how I became part of the spiritual path and um, how I've awakened and what started it. So when I was 19, I started experimenting a little bit with psychedelics. The girlfriend I was with at the time, she wanted to do them too. And I was like, sure, why not? One of the times I did LSD and when the trip peaked, I had this full on download come to me that was so immense. I was pacing around my room because I was getting all these visions. I was getting these downloads of visions coming in. I, I had a notebook and I wanted to write them down and they were coming in so fast that I couldn't even write them down. Like I was having these profound quotes come into my head and these profound visions. I was trying to write them down and like as soon as I would start like a single word, it, it would just, the next one would come and it was just a constant flow, this constant download. And I was getting these visions of like how small we are in the grand scheme of like of everything, like as everybody always says, like we are a speck in this massive universe. And I, I felt that. And it wasn't so much that I felt insignificant. It was that we are just so much greater than our worries and concerns and um, everything that we worry about, that we stress ourselves about is just so small in the grand scheme of who we really are and where we come from, who we truly are outside of this and, and this, the thinking, the logical thinking, the monkey mind, ego, and physical body that we are temporarily in. The craziest thing that I remember about this trip was I felt what we truly are in our essence. I felt the, the, the true, our true power, our, um, our true nature, which is love and abundance. I felt, I felt that as a result of this, I felt that I was a multimillionaire. Like I felt that if I opened my bank account, there would be millions upon millions of dollars in there. I felt rich. I felt loved and supported. I felt, I felt so abundant and wealthy. I will never forget it. I, I called my friend who was actually working and I called him and I was like, I need to tell you these visions and these um, downloads that I'm having right now. And he's like, I can't talk right now. I'm at work. And I'm like, work. I literally could not comprehend the word and the the action of work. Like it just felt like everything is allowing. Like everything is unfolding and allowing and should be natural, not forced going to work. Like <laughs> and I feel like from then on I, I it's that's what kind of ruined the whole nine to five thing for me. Like I know I know in my soul that I'm not meant for that. Our true nature is wealth and abundance and free flowing, a free flow of wealth and opportunity is our natural state of being. And I experienced that firsthand through psychedelics, through LSD. And I cannot unexperience that. I cannot unknow it. And life has been very tough since then in, in a way because I know all of our potential as humans. I know my potential. And when things don't align with that in the external world, it's very hard to live with sometimes. And ever since then, I've been moving in the direction of being and embodying and reaching this state, this emotional, this this knowing, this place of knowing that's, that's our true nature, my true nature, freedom and, um, and wealth, abundance, love, self-love, love for the world, love for others, releasing, letting go, Focusing where I want to go, focusing on what I want to, want to attract, working with crystals. I've gotten into tarot, into journaling, and scripting, and um, meditating, and uh, visual visual work, uh, mind's eye visualization. Focusing on attracting uh, more genuine people, more loving, open people. Working on self-love, being, being there for yourself, not abandoning yourself. Staying true to yourself, being there for yourself, knowing yourself, not accepting anything less than what you know you deserve. 
Um, when you accept stuff that is less than what you know you deserve deep down, in a way you're disrespecting yourself and you're keeping yourself, you're, you're, you're halting your own growth. You really gotta stand true to yourself and what you know that you deserve. Even if your mind or your ego tells you that you're not worthy of it, you are. And you have to, you have to learn how to, to develop that and to know that you are worthy of the things you want and the kind of love and people that you want in your life and the, the job and the career that you want, uh, the family that you want. You're, you're worthy of all of it despite your past and you will get there. Um, there's some there's some work that you gotta do along the way. You gotta let go. You gotta release. You gotta shed. You gotta work through your traumas. You gotta work through your shadow. But it's there waiting for you on the other side of it. And in order to get there, you have to you have to want to continually work on yourself. And for me, that's what started it all was this LSD trip. And ever since then, I have been so deeply pursuing growth, personal development. And after that, me and that girl broke up. All of my friends fell away. I left that job that I was currently in. It was toxic. Everything crumbled away. Everything completely changed. I kept going back to the industry that I was in for some time because I didn't know what else to do. And I didn't know how to allow anything else to come to me yet because this was all so fresh in my mind. I knew that I, that's what I was going for. I knew that's what I should aim for, but I didn't know how to apply it yet. It's just been this constant um, search for self-discovery and for um, for reaching that state of pure knowing and bliss through meditation. I know that it exists, and I know that people have gotten there without any sort of help. Granted, I know that shrooms and LSD and DMT are catalysts. They are, they are teachers and helpers to help get you there, to help show you the way. And then it's, it's, it's on you to remember that place and to strive for it and to know that it exists and to know that that's our natural state of, of being. It really pushed me down this path to get me where I am now. And I don't even live in the same state anymore. You know, I moved across the country. I'm nowhere near where I thought I was going to be. I'm not anywhere in the same vicinity of the life that I had planned or that I thought I was going to be living. At the age when I had this vision of what I wanted for my life, it's nowhere near what I thought it was going to be or what I wanted. It's drastically changed and I think there's something to that too is allowing allowing the universe to sort of fill in the blanks for you. To have an idea of what you want but the universe will fill in the blanks and everything's not going to always go according to plan. The universe will always deviate you from certain things that are not meant for you even though when you create them or you visualize them at the time you think that's what you want but the universe ult ultimately knows or your higher self ultimately knows what is meant for you and stuff will will shift along the way to, to deviate you from things that um, are not meant for you and even even when you think that they were, that's freaking bug. <laughs> so I, I hope that you enjoyed this video and this little, uh, this little pep talk and this little um, story of my life, part of my journey. And um, it's really a big part of my journey. It really catapulted me into a whole new area of exploration in my life, of self-exploration and self-development. And now I'm in a place of wanting to teach others um, how to think for themselves and to heal themselves and to to grow. So um, that's what I'm all about and I'm sharing it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, leave a like, subscribe if you did, and I will catch you guys in the next video. I love you.